All right, this video is about combining like terms and algebraic expressions. So, when it says something like simplify the expression by combining like terms, what it wants you to do is put all of your x squareds together, combine all of the x's, and all of the ones. So, what I like to do is make myself a little chart. I have my x squareds, I have my x's, and I have my ones. So I'm going to start with my x squareds, and I have 2x squareds, I have 4x squared, and that's it. Then I have 6x's, and it is important to look at the sign in front of it, um, because if we're adding an x square or an x or an x squared versus subtracting, it's going to get us a different answer. So we have to be a little bit careful. All right. So with my x squareds, I'm adding two x squared and another positive four x squared. For my x's, it's positive 6x, positive 2x. For my 1's, it's positive 10, positive 3. So all together, I have um, 2x squared, 2x squared tiles and another 4x squared tiles, so I'd have 6x squared. Um, my next one, 6x's plus 2 more x's, I have 8x and 10 plus 3, and I get 13. So my answer is 6x squared plus 8x plus 13. All right, here's my next one. So again, I have x squareds, I have x's, um, and I have some 1's. So I'm going to put my x squares in one column, the x's in one column, and my ones in another. So I have 2x squared plus another x squared. So if it just has x squared, it just means that there's one of them. And then I'm subtracting 3x squared. For my x's, I have positive 3x, positive 4x. And then for the last one, I have positive 2. Okay, so x squared. So I have positive 2x squared plus an x squared minus 3x squared. For my x's, positive 3x, positive 4x, and then positive 2 in my 1's. So all together, um, if I have 2x squared plus 1x squared, that's 3x squared, minus 3x squared would be 0x squared. So really this is canceled out. Positive 3x plus positive 4x is positive 7x, and then positive 2. So my combined answer is 7x plus 2. This next one, um, again, I'm going to do x squared, x, and 1s, x's, 5x, positive 6x. in a little different order, negative 5x squared. I want to be really careful to use that negative in front of it because it would mean something different if I have a positive instead of a negative. And then positive 6, negative 2. Okay, so negative 5x squared is the only thing that I have for my x squareds. Um, for my x's, I have positive 5x, positive 6x, and for my 1's, I have positive 6, negative 2. So, combining, 
the only thing I have for my x squares squared is negative 5x squared. So that's all. I don't really have to do anything with that one. Positive 5x plus positive 6x is positive 11x. And then positive 6 plus po negative 2 is going to be positive 4. So my final answer is negative 5x squared plus 11x plus 